guys, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Elle back here with another video. So in today's video, I'm coming to you all with some very, very exciting news. Drum roll, please. Let's wait, because there's no drum roll coming. <laughs> but okay, that news is I am engaged. I am engaged. I am engaged. I cannot stop saying this. Um, I am engaged. I'm officially a fiance. I have a fiance and I am a fiance. I will be getting married very soon. I'm gonna say very soon next year. But I have been engaged since last August and I'm obsessed still with my partner and I'm obsessed with the fact that I'm engaged. Um, but the reason why I'm telling you guys this news today is because we have kind of started the wedding planning process and I felt like this would be a really, really cool mini series to do um, about getting married in Germany, um, what it looks like combining both of our cultures together. We're going to be having a combination of a German, British, Nigerian wedding um, and I am just so, so excited to see what it turns out to be. Um, I'm so excited for the journey. I know it's going to be stressful. I know we're going to probably kill each other. I know it's going to cost a lot, a lot of money, but I am still so, so excited to start this planning process. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like to venue search, wedding dress search, um, food tasting, every little part of the wedding planning process, I will be keeping you guys posted on. But anyway, the point of this video is just to give you a run through of what we're planning for our wedding, so you kind of know what to expect in the next wedding series videos that will be coming up. But um, to give you a quick overview, yeah. we're going to be having the Standesamt, which is basically the courthouse wedding. It's the only way you can legally get married in Germany is through the Standesamt. Of course, you can get married in another country and then come back to Germany and have your marriage certificate either translated or, I don't know, go through a process in order for it to be recognised here. But um, yeah, the most simple, straightforward way, I think, to get married in Germany is in Germany. And that's what we'll be doing. Then the second event we're going to be having is the engagement ceremony. So an engagement ceremony isn't a typical engagement party that you would have before you get married. It's something you have um, kind of before the church or like the party part of the wedding. It's um, quite common in Nigeria to have. And I'll run you guys through what that entails or what is included in it. And then of course, at the end, we're gonna have the main party of the, of the wedding so we're gonna have like the church part in the morning and then we're gonna have um the party part um in the evening so the typical wedding that everyone thinks of where you walk down the aisle and you know you're wearing a white dress and all of that jazz so yeah we're gonna have these three main events take place next year next summer hopefully all in a space of like a week a week and a half let's see probably gonna regret this decision but yeah those are <laughs> those are the events we're planning for next year um, so to begin with, talking about the Standis Amt, as I mentioned, this is the courthouse wedding. There's nothing crazy or excitingly amazing about it. It's just the standard, you go in, you say some nice words, you sign a bit of paper, and then we're legally married. It's something that we're going to do with just our nearest and dearest. Um, so it will probably be us and maybe 10, max 20 people. I guess it all depends what Miss Corona says next year, but hopefully we're able to have, yeah, 10, 20 people come um and yeah we haven't really got much planned for it we just know that there's a lot of paperwork involved and um, that's actually why we couldn't legally get married this year we actually wanted to already get married um this summer but all the summer dates are gone and you have to have your paperwork done beforehand before you can even put in for a date so um part of that paperwork includes having my birth certificate translated so even though my birth certificate is in english and we're pretty sure that all the officials can read in english um germany says no they say they want that officially translated and that costs money so now i have to look for official translator to translate my birth certificate in order for it to be recognized here i also have to sign some documents to show that i've never been married before um some standard documents like my registration number and how long i've been in germany my status here in germany so i'm employed things like that um I'm not really sure what else. I can't really remember what else they said. Um, but yeah, anyone else that is planning to get married in Germany, I would recommend emailing the Standesamt and asking them what you need. Um, and they will most likely arrange to have a call with you and then they'll tell you based on your nationality what kind of documents you need to provide. Um, again, I don't remember any of this. So if anyone is from the UK that has got married in Germany before, please let me know what kind of documents you needed because that would be very, very useful. But also if anyone has a plug on a um, translator um, with an official stamp, then also please let me know because that's something that I'm going to be needing very, very soon. 
Um, so yeah, that's just the standards amped in a quick nutshell. Um, nothing fancy, nothing amazing. It's going to take place in the town town hall, I think is the German translation, yeah, the rat house, so the town hall, um, but there's also other locations around the city where you can also get married by the Standesamt, but of course they cost a little bit more, so we haven't really spoken about whether we're going to go for the courthouse in the rat hall, or we're going to go for um, a nicer location around the city, let's see, but I think we're going to go cheap on this one and just, you know, do the typical courthouse, rat house um, wedding, so yeah. Um, then next up we have the engagement ceremony. So as I mentioned, it's not the typical um, pre-wedding party where you're like, girl, I'm engaged, like none of that. It's basically a ceremony for both families to meet one another. Um, in Nigeria, it's super, super important that this ceremony takes place because you're basically getting married in front of your family and friends and through the church or like through prayer kind of um it's kind of hard to explain because i actually don't know so much about it um i'd only been to one real real nigerian wedding in my life and that was my cousin's wedding about two three years ago in nigeria um so that was like the first time i witnessed this um but from what i understand um there'll be like a pastor or like a moderator basically you know saying a lot of prayers and um, running through a lot of scripture things like that um, and what also takes place is like the bride side sits on one side and the groom side sits on another side. Um, and during the um, ceremony, the moderator will then ask me, Elle, to move to my um, partner's side and sit with his parents and his brothers and brother and sister. And then um, they will also ask my partner to then sit with my um, family. Um, and then basically from there, they will say, you know, she is now your daughter, he is now your son. So we don't see it as that is my son-in-law or that is my daughter-in-law. I am your daughter. I am their sister. I am their uh, niece. You know, I am their grandmother child I am everything the same way he is to you I am to them as well and likewise as well so I think things like that are so beautiful in this ceremony and I think it's something that's going to be so so special and again give our families a chance to get to know one another um, and another thing that takes place in the ceremony is like the giving of gifts so <laughs> um, we're not going to go crazy on it because again in Nigeria it would be like a whole table pile of gifts um, but for us we're going to just do it on a you know smaller scale but still there'll be gifts um, from food to electronics to material things and um, stereotypically this is what you would give um, and within all the gifts that you give um, there should be a bible um, and I can't exactly remember if the guy also has to pick out the bible but I know from the girl's side so basically I would out of all my gifts have to pick out my most prized or my most important um, gift that I want out of all of them if I could only pick one um, and that would be the Bible. And again, it represents that I am putting God first in our relationship, in our marriage, um, that I'm a good Christian woman and, um, you know, put God, God above all. So um, again, there's a lot of symbolic things that happen throughout the ceremony that mean a lot um, in Nigerian culture and um, to my family in general. And I'm just so, so excited to share that with my um, partners. I keep saying boyfriends, that's why I'm saying partner. But no, my fiancés, I'm so excited to share that with my fiancés and um, family as well. And they're so excited to have this take place. So hopefully if Miss Corona does not choose to, you know, back things up, we can have this ceremony as well next year. But let's see. Um, and then finally, the third ceremony or the third event that's going to take place is the wedding. So it's the stereotypical church in the morning or in the early afternoon and then having the party with all our family and friends in the evening as well. And um, we're currently planning to have about 80 people. Um, so let's see again what Corona says. But um, yeah, we're planning to have 80 people and we have already got our wedding venue. It's going to be in this like modern boho rustic-y barn type place. Um, and I'm so, so happy with our event location. Event of, oh my gosh, you couldn't tell I worked in events. Um, no, but I'm so, so happy with our wedding venue location. I think it's beautiful. Um, it's kind of in the middle of nowhere, super, super green. Um, it's completely our vibe. So we're quite happy with it. We have a really nice date booked. I'm not going to tell you guys yet because I don't want to jinx anything. Super, super excited to start this journey and I can't wait to share it with you guys. But I'll leave you for now and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.